Hi, ever wonder what it's like to work another profession or live in the underworld? Listen to Unsuspecting Riders give a 10 to 15 minute personal masterclass as I spontaneously interview them as they enter my taxi. I'm your host, Simon Rushton, and this is Taxi Chronicles. Morning, morning, morning. Yes, we're back with another episode, another rider. Today, we've got the lovely guy from up north. I detected his slight northern accent, but actually, to be honest, I thought he was from the West Country. But either way, and now we're just going to have a discussion about the pros and cons of living in London from a northerner's point of view. So, happy to have you here today. Hey, mate. <laughs> so tell me first of all, tell us a bit about yourself. How long you lived in London for? So I lived in London since I think 2010. So what, about 10 years now. Okay, okay. And you, I, I could ask you, are you loving every moment? But I know you said it has its pros and cons. Yeah, yeah. So but... let's share some. What further before you start? Yeah. What is your? I don't know if you've been down to London many times before you moved down here. Yeah. What was your first impression, like your thought of what it's going to be like to live in London? Uh, what, what my first impression was when I when no, I moved down what, here. So, what was your impression of what in your mind oh, of what it would okay. be like to live in London? Oh, uh, I don't know really. Bright lights, big city, <laughs> <laughs> all that nonsense. <laughs> okay, all right. And then, what did you find when you actually got here? Uh, well, where I'm from in the Midlands, everyone is quite friendly. Uh, I, I kind of uh, felt that it wasn't quite the same when I came down here. Uh, I noticed that people kind of cross the street more to avoid you rather than saying hi, uh, <laughs> which was a bit of a culture shock. Um, but uh, you know, but once you once you get to know people, they're friendly enough. It's just like strangers on the street. It's just a bit different. Did you find it was a long time to blend in to to become like where you just feel like you're part? Do you feel actually? Do you feel like you're part of the society down here now? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. And did that take a long time for you to before you felt like that? Uh, yeah, probably a couple of years. I would have thought. Years. Yeah, I'd say a couple of years. Um, I spent the first year um, looking for a job. So I, sp- I spent the first year basically kind of inside the house, like applying for jobs and kind of looking in the local area for bits and bits and pieces. So um, I did a little bit of exploring, but I wasn't really kind of... Trying to spend your money unnecessarily. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so you saved that? You're not, you come straight out of uni or something? No, no, no. My family moved down here. Um, so I came with them. I left my career. Um, that I had up, up there and came down and, and started again. Okay. All right, so you moved your whole family down here and you're looking for work and you found work and, and you said, well, okay, okay. Um, yeah. I always say Game of Thrones, I take it you're a Game of Thrones guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, looking <laughs> at you, I thought so. Yeah. Parker. It's an epitome of England. Yeah. The Lannisters are represent who? Who do you think the Lannisters re- represent? Probably London. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's without a shadow of a doubt. And the Starks. Oh yeah, definitely the North. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 uh, and the Wildlings. Oh, probably. So, well, you're probably going to say Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the further North. Yeah, but it's true though. When yeah. You think about it, Scottish have that kind of free spirit. No man's going to tell him anything. Ah. That's it, yeah. Freedom, the brave heart, and all that. Wildlings are the best characters, anyway, isn't it? Yeah, Torment. Yeah. But um, I, I have to say, it's not all of us. Um, that bit with the inbred thing. Is, yeah, yeah. Is that represents the royal family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't represent the average Londoner. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not all sleeping with our sisters down here. Yeah. We're still twins. Imagine that. That's terrible. Yeah, that's yeah, it's pretty screwed up. Who was your favourite character in Game of Thrones? Yeah. Oh, probably, probably Tormund. Who? 
uh, is it Tormund, is it like Tormund Lions Bane? You know, the, the wildling with the, the big ginger, oh, big ginger. afro and uh, yeah, beard, yeah. 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 Was you into Dungeons and Dragons? Not really, no. It was something that just kind of like passed me by. I liked him. I've never had anyone tell me that was their favourite character, but there's always a first. Mm. My, f- I had favourite characters for different seasons. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. So the start was Tyrion. Yeah. Half man. Yeah. Loved him. I, I went off him because he started to lose the plot. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I put it down to the scriptwriter, really. Yeah. I reckon you, you would have been better off telling the. Um, the actors to write their own script their yeah. parts. I know they'd probably come up with a better thing than what happened in season 8 and oh, season 7 god yeah I argue that season 7 uh, what was it when when he had um, when, when winter was coming or winter arrived that should have been a whole season yeah not one episode yeah 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 that could have been a whole and you see when she became the dragon queen and took over everything was on the stairs yeah that's at least a season and a half yeah yeah, yeah. they know, needed they, to really they, extend they, all they, of that uh, they, they they really yeah. if I ever saw the script writer I'd give her a uh, let him my mom <laughs> yeah yeah definitely yeah, yeah. they just they Especially rushed after it after waiting a year and a half for a, a season that's it yeah they put all of this they, they have all this hype I've anything in my life yeah especially that long that's it especially TV wise I actually waited yeah. You know, you was watching every YouTube uh, clip or, you know, promotional thing and uh, you was getting really worked up and it's, yeah, it's so disappointing. Yeah. My, my next characters were a favourite, and I say they come as a pair, were um, the Hound and Arya. Oh, yeah, that, they, they had a really, really good relationship. I Braun. Braun was great. Yeah. Braun and Tyrion... They were really good together. Yeah. That that woman, you know, the tall night woman, uh, lady. Oh yeah, Brian. Bri- yeah, yeah, Brian of Tar. I liked her, but I think there could be a lot more to her. Yeah. If you see what I mean. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and um, I think she was the one that made Jamie good. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and all that kind of thing. I tell you who I did like. Out of evil characters? Yeah. Littlefinger. Oh, yeah, he was oh, dastardly, wasn't he? I like Littlefinger, and I think the other guy comes as his equal rival, the King of Whispers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was superb. It's so funny. I've never wanted a character to die so badly as I did Littlefinger. And really? in the end, yeah, and when in the end, when he finally died, oh, it was so. Yeah, when he died, I've never seen so many people cheer. You know, when they do that show, yeah, yeah. people watching you watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I know that thing. Wow! But the way he goes, Sansa, I love you. Yeah. And Arya, do you see what Arya circled him like a true wolf? Yeah, she man. Circled, I said, Arya is in the game now. You're yeah. fucked. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Game over. What is life? It's game over for you. Um, uh, I, uh, I was good though. I was good. I tell you, there's some scenes that I wish I could unsee. Yeah. The red wedding when they she stabbed the, they stabbed the pregnant woman. Yeah. I was like, Jesus. Yeah, that and was. You know who else was so evil? Everybody says Joffrey was evil. Yeah. He was. But you know who he didn't hold a candle to? Oh, um... Go on. Uh, must know it. If you're a true Got fan, you must know it. Oh, I'm so tired. What? Uh, what's his name? Uh, the, uh... The guy from Battle of the Bastards. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He was... He fed his brother and his stepmom to... Baby brother and stepmom to the dogs. Yeah. Is it me? No. Yo, oh, yeah, no. he was... Oh, no! Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> I said, like, I can't watch this. This is too much. I can't um, believe I forgot his name. Yeah, he was. Ramsey oh, he was. That's Martin. it, Ramsey, yeah. Ramsey Martin is his dad. He remember yeah. he killed his dad as well. Yeah. I should be saying spoiler alert of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you ever watched it by now, like 10 years later, then you're never going to watch That's it. That's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, when he killed his. When he killed. Um, 
his brother and the yeah and that the was guy. that and was the really mum fucked wasn't up. A bad mum she wasn't she wasn't like those royal mums that were trying yeah. to, she's just happy well she's just happy eating pies really yeah she yeah, yeah. run into the big bears yeah that kind of thing but I liked going back to the bald, the king of whispers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was a very good character. Yeah, yeah the spider. But what they say it, it is politics at, at its peak. Yeah. When you think about it, and um, Cersei said it. She said, um, "With the Game of Thrones, you don't win or lose." I think it's you die or I'm paraphrasing yeah yeah basically you don't get a second chance if you mess up you die yeah that's it what did you think of the the one who wanted to be queen she, she always kind of got her tits out oh yeah 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 hey, I like that actress yeah she's really good yeah she was um yeah, she was she was pretty she was pretty good, but I think she just was no match for Cersei, was she? She was she didn't she was too young still. She didn't understand like the the game. She 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 thought she did. She thought she was controlling it by marrying the the king. She just didn't realize that the game has a dark side. Yeah, and the, the she wasn't even if she was uh, married to him and she was queen, she still wasn't the real ruler and she still like she was still able to be manipulated and you know to or you know or just killed off you know what i think you hit the nail on the head and i've never thought about that before mm. what i think is that cersei understood that you need to kill at times yeah and this woman was like she's quite in essence she, she knew the game to a certain degree but she's still quite spoiled yeah so she's in a bubble yeah do you see what i mean yeah 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 but you know who I really didn't like? Hey. Arya's sister. Oh, yeah. You know um, why I didn't like her? Sansa. Because she had the butcher's boy killed because she wanted to be queen. Even though she was young, she didn't realise what was going to happen. Yeah. But still, before you tell the truth, do you yeah. see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, boy, definitely. And everybody thinks that when she got raped and all those things, I was like, yeah, you know, yeah. You know what you sow, you shall reap. Yeah, do you see what I mean? And yeah, not, that's not an advocate for rape. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah of it's course. Just that you put yourself in that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you had just said, actually, Rob, uh, what is his name, Rodney or Joffrey, 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 yeah, Joffrey's an evil little bastard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then they could have sorted it out. Do you yeah. See what I, mean? I like Rob, King Rob. Yeah, he was good. You know what they should do. They should do the Game of Thrones, starting from the old stories. Yeah, they well, they were going they to, do weren't it they? Properly. Yeah. Properly, properly. None, none, none of this cutting, what making us wait forever in a day. Mm. And, and I know they said it cost a lot of money, so they've cut the seasons down. Yeah. I don't know about that, but to me, I was living in East Africa at the time. I was in the supermarket. They were selling Game of Thrones underwear. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So that's too much money to mess up the, the seasons. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, they. I think they. Um... Unless they knew the COVID was coming. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. So no. Really <laughs> yeah. I just think they. Um, they. The story. For they'd me. got their. They'd got their money. And they wanted to move on, but they had to finish it. So they just. Yeah, they could have got so much more money. Though. Yeah, I just don't think they were bothered. I don't think they were that bothered about getting the money they just wanted to get it wrapped up and done didn't they but think of it it's become a cult yeah it, it's, it's more of a cult than like the Pulp Fiction and uh, you know it's I don't know to me it, just, it actually pisses me off to think about it yeah. why, why did you so I've never waited like I keep it's just I've never waited for a show before yeah I'm yeah I'm kind of guy I'm, I'm busy working doing my thing you know it's just Anyway, being a pet man, yeah. What do you think of the direwolf? Oh yeah, yeah, they're really cool. Actually, someone I know, um, it was one of their dogs that was the one of the direwolves. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> you know that actually they've been actually trying to breed and di uh, create direwolves since that show. Oh really? Because they realised they'd make so much money. Oh my god. So somebody's god. trying to create a dog that 
is like half a human size, if not big. Yeah. And it's not even a dog, it's a wolf, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Why wolf, isn't it? Why would you try to create yeah. something like that? <laughs> That's like Jurassic Park, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just going down a rabbit hole, that is. It's not a question of if we if we can, it's more of a question, should we? Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah. course. Ah, uh, it's just It's only going to end in one way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'd be like foxes running around, but yeah. the people would be trying to get in before dark. Uh, yeah, that's it, yeah. Perfect yeah. die wolf curfews, like, <laughs> get in before the wolves get you. Yeah. At least, at least all the all the teenage uh, knife crime would go down. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing that happened during COVID, isn't it? Yeah. All the crime just went more or less zero. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. And I heard all the police was catching all lots of criminals because they were stuck at home. Yeah. So you could go to their house now. And they were, yeah, they were there, <laughs> isolated. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it's interesting. So you see yourself staying in London then? Yeah, I think so. Or at least um, still working in London, maybe living on the outside because it's a bit, a bit pricey. Yeah, I like it. So it's not that you need some greenery. A lot of people yeah. now move to the outskirts of London for the greenery and then like for, I see a field and it's a couple of trees. Yeah. And then they can commute in one or two stops depending where they work. Or catch yeah. a fast train. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of that, but I mean, there is, there are places you can go in central London for greenery if you really want to. Yeah, it's like Hyde Park. After a couple of times, it gets quite boring. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you're not wrong. Like, it's nice to have a bit of a bit of countryside around. Yeah, it's it's nice to yeah have that a slightly different atmosphere, slightly less kind of like busy and tense mm. kind of busy city atmosphere it's nice to have something a little bit more relaxed yeah well soon as we're coming to the end of the trip there's one question i ask all my guests yeah is what's the impact you want to have on the world the impact i want to have on the world um probably to do everything i can to help people yeah you know what a lot of people have good hearts yeah when i ask that question it always surrounds around helping people there's always like ten percent who are just like I want money. Yeah, yeah. Or, <laughs> yeah. So I think along those lines, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah myself, but most people are like well peace for for you know for the sake of the modelling kind of model mentality. Yeah. But, you know, most people generally wanna, you know, be kind and do the right thing. Yeah. Help society. Yeah, I think most people are good people, and apart from politicians, lawyers, and accountants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Thanks a lot for that. No worries. Much, much, much appreciated. We hope you liked that interview. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get the latest daily episode. Ever considered investing in a continent with the fastest growing economy and population on Earth? The same continent that holds 30% of the world's known natural resources? Then listen to our sister podcast, Africa Investor Stories, where you will hear real investors with real stories from around the world share their experience of investing in Africa. We post Monday and Thursday at 10am.